Dodoma lies in the middle of the semi-arid central plateau of Tanzania, an area prone to drought. Only 65% of the townspeople have access to clean drinking water, whilst in some rural villages only one quarter have access. Today the situation is improving as new solutions are being explored. Monica Mardi is 35 years old, or maybe 40, she's not sure. She only went to school for three days and then her husband kidnapped her. Monica has four surviving children of eight she delivered, and her husband, a Maasai chief, has 15 wives. They all belong to the same homestead and live in primitive huts isolated from the world. Naturally, they have no water at home, so Monica has to make her reserves of water go a long way. The wealth of the family depends on their cattle, and finding sufficient water for them is also a problem. The children take the cattle out to graze, moving between water points. To supply these villages with water, the International Fund for Agricultural Development, IFAD, launched a water and health project supported by the Belgian Survival Fund. The villagers formed water and healthcare committees and contributed to a start-up fund. They also settled on the cost of water, usually one Tanzanian shilling per litre, less than one US cent. The government was approached to begin digging the bore wells. Seventy bore wells have so far been installed and each provides for five to six thousand people. However, the bore wells are not enough. For some villagers, using their limited cash to pay for water is not always a priority. Monica, her two daughters and some friends set out in search of water elsewhere. Monica wants to save money to visit her mother in Arusha, who she hasn't seen for 21 years. A new irrigation project in Monica's village is planned, so hopefully in the future she can earn money growing and selling vegetables. After walking 12 kilometers, they arrive at the Metadam Basin. This water is probably contaminated, but sometimes Monica chooses this option so she can save for her visit home. Night falls on Monica's village. The children come home with the cattle, but the day isn't over for her. She must tend to the cows, and then it's time for a drink before bedtime. This is Gillian Hazel of IFAD for CNN World Report. <laughs>